that someone gets what they need mm -hmm. because this is so valuable. I don't want them to go without. So you have to do those um, conditioning mind things. And then you also need to go, for those of you who are believers, go to the word of God that works in that favor to help you to be able to have that dominance. So when the Bible says be courageous, you know, you've got to go to the passages and let the word work for you to be able to help you to operate outside of your natural and more into a spiritual. Mm -hmm. The word works. Mm -hmm. And so you need to get those passages together that are going to help propel you into that place of being more, more, you know, more driven. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that is. Can I ask something? <clears throat> because Laura said something that was profound, and I'm going to try and review it. But uh, it was the idea of if you know yourself, know who you are, more, you will more easily want to do good for that person. So if you, if, if kind of the contrast to that was if you don't, if you don't know who you are, and you're not in love with that person. You can you can create a distance that says, uh, since I don't really know and like that person. Speaking of yourself, you know, it, it's harder to be good to that person. That was just profound to me in that moment. It made me think, and I thought I had pretty healthy self-esteem and that kind of thing. I was like. You know, how do I see myself um, in order to be good to myself? Mm -hmm. And um, that, when you know yourself, you can, I think it sparks the enthusiasm to say, I am okay, I like me, and I can begin to come out of my shell. So this is, was that kind of the Yeah, that's exactly, because that? if you really know someone, it's hard to really know someone and to find them undeserving of love and care and everything they need. So that applies to you too. Yeah. It's hard to not give that to yourself if you are confident. I think even when you think of the scripture, love your neighbor as yourself, really? <laughs> if we don't know how to love ourselves, we're not going to love our neighbors. We're often looking for people to validate us and to love, but we don't validate ourselves. We don't love ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so we, I think... Uh, there's a place that you have to come in life that in your authenticity, in knowing God created you for greatness. Greatness is in you. Not allowing people to tell you to shrink back. Greatness is in them too. And greatness is in you. You do not have to shrink back from the greatness that you were created in and to do and to walk in that confidence. There is a, and it, it's a fine line sometimes between cockiness and confidence. Yeah. Right. Cockiness has an undertone of stank nasty. <laughs> <laughs> cockiness has an undertone of I'm better than you, you're better than me, I'm not going to bring this panel of people together because they could be competition. The, 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 the man of God said earlier, in the kingdom there's no competition when we were in the hall. Because there's plenty, and whether you're a believer or not, there's plenty. There is one thing that is never going to be created anymore of, land. Yeah. There's no other land that's going to be, so find your land. Find your land. Lance Wallace says, find your mountain. Wow. I mean, the house is going to be built. Roads are going to be built. All of these things are going to be built and created. But there's no more land. So find your land and get confident in it, quote unquote. Find your brand and get confident in it. And do not allow people to tell you to shrink back when you know what you're doing is in love. All right. mm -hmm. yes. And it's not about, you You know, I, I tell people, I used to be a dressed up mess. t I was a dressed up mess. I was a dressed up mess. I, I, I faked my confidence until I found it in Christ. Amen. Amen. I faked it until I found it. Now I am totally clear. My confidence comes from God. I'm clear about that. It has nothing to do with any of our gifts and abilities and talents because but for him, we wouldn't have any of it. Yes. So I'm clear about that. So anyone who gets it twisted about our confidence, it may be because.